as I said last tutorial, tutorial, I'm going to be talking about public, private, and protected. So public, protected, and I don't have any private variables anywhere. But the first one, there's there's basically a list of how you can go down. So you have your public ints, then you have your protected ints, and then you can just say you can leave it blank. So you can just go int i or yeah int int one so you can just leave it blank and then there's private so let's start by I'm going to create a class outside of our package because I'm gonna need this for demonstration so let's just name it testing and you can see it says default package because I didn't put it in another package I just need it outside of this one. So I'm going to actually want to access the stuff in here though, so I'm just going to import net.javabasics and everything in it. So the star means everything inside of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to create a fret object. So let's let's just create a void in here. random. I don't know why, but let's do it that. So, Fred F actually, we don't even need that. Fred F equals new Fred. And that doesn't work because we need to put in two numbers. Okay, so that works. And then, inside of our Fred object, or Fred class, let's make a private int. So, if we try to do something like int i equals f dot int 1, then what we're going to get is it is not visible. The field f Fred dot int 1 is not visible and that is because it's private and what private means is only this class can access it nothing outside of that class can access it so even in the same package equals oh wait I have to put this after actually let's just make a Fred so let's just change that to Fred yeah okay so int i equals f dot int 1. So even though it's in the same package, you still get it's not visible. So then the next one up is if we just leave it blank. So we just have int int 1. And what this means is it still can't access it. It's still not visible. And also, it, so yeah. But what it does is anything inside of the same package as this can now use this int. So you see, we no longer have the error here. And then, we, what you can do next the next step up is protected which we have these two here but what the protected does is so as before this class and the entire package but also anything that's outside of the class that extends this class so if we do now we make it extend Fred and we have to change that in I1 and I'm just gonna let it add the constructor for me hmm hold on a second yeah it is protected I don't understand that I have protected and one oh let's see I probably have
save it. Um, let's try saving this too. Well, you know what? I'll just click it. So, it did exactly what I had. And it's still not working. That's kind of annoying me. Um, let me see. Change to... That's what it is, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, right. Okay, that's stupid. I'm being stupid. So, ignore that. So now that it extends Fred, we now have the int, int one as our own. So we can do int i equals, er, not int i. i1 equals int1. So yeah, I was talking about that completely wrong. The way you access it is because it extends it, so it's inheriting it from here. But, as you can see, if we leave this blank, then you're going to get that it can't access it. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so, because it's not protected, it can't be used. And then, the last one is public, which means any class, anywhere, can use it. So, so now, we can just get rid of the extends, and we can just do, make a new Fred, and int i equals f dot int 1. And since it's public, anything in the world can access it. So, I'm just going to draw out how that works. Why don't you like that? Save. There. So, the way it works is you have private, then you have blank, blank, then you have protected, and then you have public. So, private is only the class. Blank is anything in the same package. Protected is anything that inherits it. And public is anything at all. And of course, of course, private, so the class can still access the protected thing. And the entire package can also access the protected thing. So yeah, that may, have, I may have explained that a bit confusingly, but if I did, leave a comment on that. I think that'll be the end of this tutorial. If you like it, then like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you have suggestions for what I should cover next, leave a comment on that. If I need to go over anything again, then leave a comment on that. I'll go over it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.